Slim Thug has added his two cents about the Diddy and Cassie lawsuit situation. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Alize. Don't forget to subscribe. So we all know about the whole situation between Diddy and Cassie. Cassie sued Diddy for $30 million. And within like 24 hours of the lawsuit, Diddy actually settled outside of court for an undisclosed fee. And obviously the internet has been talking, talking wild about Brother Love, formerly known as Diddy. And Slim Thug is one of those people. He took to his the social media on one of his lives and really spoke crazy, or well, really spoke his mind, I should say. Spoke his mind and in today's world, that's a no-no, whether you like it or not. And he got a lot of backlash People calling for him to get cancelled, criticising him for being unsympathetic to people who are victims, in this case Cassie. But I got the audio and the visual. Check it out. I've been sued for shit I know I ain't do and I know the victim know I ain't do it. So I look at shit different than y'all. So whatever you believe, I understand. You can think what you want to think, Brittany. Go on, whatever y'all want to think. At the end of the day... I know what the real is. Y'all just too green and think everything I'm about to say is real. People see money and trying to get money, man. At the end of the day, that's what that is, man. Straight up like that. Did I settle? What that mean? I don't know what that mean. I'm, if I was sore from experience, would I be saying this shit? Did I not say, hey, if he did something, do say something about it. I ain't saying them, ain't nothing happened. But it don't take no five years to be saying no shit about some shit, trying to get money, that's money. Yeah, man, y'all too lame if you believe it. So everyone just lying about what? The fact she went to the attorney to sue instead of the police to report a crime don't sound like a victim. It sounds like I want some money. Money. Get off the lane with Bill Cosby. All this shit is money grab. Straight up like that. I don't give a damn about going on no blogs. I come on here and, and speak to y'all directly, the people I care about. You know what I'm saying? The rest of them who come and go out of y'all, just like y'all talking down. Y'all ain't buying my albums. Y'all ain't putting no money in my pockets. I don't give a damn about y'all. I don't work for nobody either, so you motherfuckers can't cancel me. <laughs> so you can't cancel me. <laughs> but if you lame enough to not understand that there's a lot of money grabbing in this shit, you stupid. That's on you. And God bless you. I'm gonna go, give me some money. You hurt my pay me. Oh, we, oh, you gave me my money? The direct the direct deposit hit? Oh, we good, we fixed that. We healed. Oh Lord, we healed. We not hurt no more. The direct deposit hit, we healed. Oh my God. And I'm corny and lame because I believe it's a money grab. Get the <laughs> Soon as that direct deposit hit, everything, oh, I'm good now. We straight. I ain't gotta go to therapy no more. <laughs> I ain't got no skills. That's why I come over here and talk. I'm me. I live a real life, baby. I don't. I don't fake it. So it is what it is. She settled them quick. Then we believe that that's abuse. You lame, man. You not. You not. You be, you must live in a motherfucking a town of a thousand people. I ain't never seen no street shit happen. You don't know what scamming is. <laughs> you don't know what a scam is. <laughs> I'm closed-minded and limited with empathy. It could be, it could be. But let me tell you how I got there. I've been sued for something from a dude who he know I didn't do nothing to him. I've been sued. And he know I didn't touch him, but he knew I had the bag though. A dude I put on, a dude I put money in his pockets. So I know how this go. If you lame enough to believe that everybody got your best interest at, at heart, you lame. And that's on you, if you believe that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What? I, I, we we different. So I might not have the empathy you have. But at the end of the day, like I said, if he did something, I, I did he do it or not? I'm not saying he didn't do it. All I'm saying is why take five years or do whatever you're going to do. Or if there was an issue, why you ain't go to the police? I stand on what I said, man. Like, I ain't care about these goofy-ass blogs. That's why I erase this shit. Every time I talk to y'all, I kind of know they try to 
come up with shit and make a nigga sound like a like crazy. I don't give a damn about nobody. I'm straight up good, man. I don't have no daughters. I'm not sympathy. I'm not a person who talks with sympathy. What was her mother and friend? Right. What was it? How do I sound crazy? See, the thing is, y'all live in Disney World so much that y'all ain't caught up to 2023. This shit ain't Disney World. This shit is real life. People is out here doing scams. Y'all act like it ain't, I, everything is all real. Motherfuckers ain't trying to grab no money. People ain't doing dirty. Bill Cosby is not guilty of all that shit. They were getting hot with him, having fun with him, turning up with him. When they went broke, they started trying to do all this extra ass shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't turning on my heroes over these old fake ass money grabs, man. It, it takes to survive, live through abuse. You know how powerful Diddy is, money and power changes you. I don't know. I don't know none of that. I don't know. I've never been a victim of abuse. But I do know that it is scammers out here that just try to grab money from people. That's what I'm speaking on. Okay? I, all the people who really was how your life was as a victim was hard. I have I have sympathy. Now you should call the police and shouldn't wait. If you know you shouldn't be just sitting around, you shouldn't be trying to sue a motherfucker. You should just get the abuser locked up so it don't happen to nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so yeah. This is all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this ain't even for y'all. Y'all can be mad at me for my opinion all y'all want, but at the end of the day, I come from uh, the streets, and the streets taught me that it's, it's a lot of crooked people out here who really just want you on the cool, and that's what it is. Yeah, but that's Slim Thug, the boss from Houston. Really just speaking like, yo, I'm just stating my opinion. Really saying what he, saying how he felt, really. It just in today's age you can't speak like that people just want you cancelled but to be fair he is independent so you can't really cancel him you know what are you gonna do he's not on any major network anyway but as usual people i want to know what you lot think should slim thug have just kept his opinions to himself or is it okay it's freedom of speech he can say whatever he want to say or was it just really too insensitive to the whole diddy and Cassie situation too fresh maybe I don't know you let me know don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell and if you enjoyed this you can leave a little super thanks or donate in PayPal all right guys like I said leave a comment like subscribe it's fresh hip-hop opinion peace and love